Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We gather as the virtual community of St. Mary's. Welcome to everyone. A liturgical aid that contains songs, readings, and prayers for spiritual communion for today are available on the home page of our parish website. Today we celebrate the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. This Mass is being offered for Gertrude Klein. Our celebrant is Father Henry Kunkel, assisted by Deacon Gary Dumer and Deacon Philip Seneschal. Our gathering hymn is number 598, Let All Things Now Living, number 598. Please rise. <laughs>
into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. And then it becomes like a fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord.
St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, for spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is the good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Now, 
Also, there is this wonderful little, uh, if I can find it. We have this wonderful little passage from Jeremiah. Well, one thing about Jeremiah is, Jeremiah is always going to tell you the absolute truth. And he says something very interesting today. He says, you duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You duped me, O Lord. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. Think about that, sisters and brothers. Jeremiah is saying to us, wow, the Lord is very much inside and in our souls. If only we had the worship power that we need to do it. And believe me, Jeremiah was afraid. He certainly was. But he couldn't stop speaking the Lord's truth even when he knew he didn't want to do it. Because God is always bringing us closer and closer to him. And when we, like Jeremiah, realize that we can't get away from God's love, it makes our life and our being so powerful and so wonderful. And God absolutely cherishes us for that. And may the praise be to Jesus Christ, who is Lord. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
school year. May Christ be their model and inspiration. Let us pray, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the political and religious leaders that they may never tire of proclaiming the right of life and the most fundamental right, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Marie Pope, wife of John. May their lives and sacrifice be a source of strength to us today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now remember all of their needs in our petition books and also add our own special needs and concerns at this particular time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. As we strive to discover and do your will, give us the strength to carry our cross. And we ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Starting this Tuesday, September the 1st, and every first Tuesday of the month thereafter, the Knights of Columbus will hold Eucharistic Adoration in the Parish Hall at St. Mary's. Adoration will begin at 6 p.m. and end at 8 p.m. All parishioners are invited to come and spend some time with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A visit to the Blessed Sacrament is a great treasure of our Catholic faith it nourishes social love and gives us opportunities for adoration and thanksgiving, for reparation and supplication. We are now offering 8 o'clock Mass in the morning on Sundays. Bring your chair and a face mask to join us behind the parish hall in the usual outdoor Mass location. We still need help setting up and breaking down in the outdoor Masses if you're able to help with this ministry, please sign up using the links in Friday's newsletter. All adults signing up to assist must be Burgess trained. Check with Barbara Sadler in the parish office if you're not sure of your status. If you know someone who would like to join our church and attend faith formation and prepare for confirmation, please have them call the parish office. Normally at this point in the Mass, we take up the offertory collection. Make your donation through the giving page on the parish website or to the parish office by mail. We are grateful for whatever you were able to give. Thank you for your kind attention. Our hymn during the preparation of gifts is Oceans, which can be found in your worship page.
sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The glory of the sacrifice in your hands, and the praise and glory of his name, and the glory of all church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to our fallen state. By his suffering he canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so now, with the company of angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we now acclaim. Yeah. 
passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity. Among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion, and so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and love and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into our world. Remember our brothers and sisters, Remember Gertrude Klein, who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter upon my roof. For the Holy Spirit will hurt, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 350, The Supper of the Lord, number 350.
we know by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And Lord with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace with love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 560. Oh, bless the Lord, number 560.